people who, they knew that we were artists and they would come up to us and ask us, have you ever painted any biblical images that, you know, from an Afrocentric point of view? And, you know, we looked at each other and said, no, we, we never done that before. So um, we, we started painting images um, that we had never seen before from an Afrocentric point of view. The first painting I did was a painting of Christ walking on the water. And the first painting that Aaron did was a painting of Daniel in the lion's den. But both, again, both of these figures were African pictures of Christ on the water and Daniel were from um, Afrocentric point of view. So when people saw that, I mean, it just blew their mind because even a lot of people that we knew or fellowship with did not see paintings like that. So it just kind of made our artwork unique. Actually, we had done several calendars in the past with a, another company. We saw the impact that it had you know, nationwide um, among our fans and viewers, and we just wanted to keep that going. In fact, um, it's amazing that even though it's contemplating maybe not even doing another calendar, but every year you know, people are asking us, when is your next calendar come out, or do you have this year calendar? So it's, I think it's going to be an ongoing thing. It, it, it's something that we can look forward to every year. Um, it's also give us a chance to create you know, new and much improved art um, you know, for our audience or people that's you know, following us as artists. And another thing about the calendars too is that um, they're keepsake. Um, matter of fact, we also have people where they take the image from the calendars instead of, you know, after the year's over, taking the calendar and just tossing it away. They actually take the artwork and frame them. So um, just having um, the images, and not only the images, but the the scriptures that goes along with the, um, the images, um, something that's very inspirational. And um, that's something that um, um, you and my came in on with the, the scriptures and with the different dates of our, some of our uh, black heroes or our, our black um, legends, they you know, added those to the calendar. And I think that it just makes the calendar just that more exciting. Children is our, our future. And I think it's, it's a good thing to start them at, at an early age of um, focusing in on um, their future. It's never too early to start with our children and help them concentrate on the, the higher goals or the, you know, the educational um, position they can um, achieve in life. So this is the thing that we, we concentrate on, even in terms of the name Hope. Um, this is our hope for today, our hope you know, for tomorrow. Um, and also, like I said, my brother said he give them the chance also to um, create themselves in terms of characters or roles or even to help us as grown up to see the roles in children that was way back then that we could, you know, we saw ourselves even doing too. Yeah, and also the biblical images, again, it's back to where we, what, we did not see ourselves um, portrayed in biblical times where it's actually in the Bible where we do have African people portrayed in the Bibles that we don't hear about, but to paint that where our children see, it, it really helps them a lot. You can purchase a calendar through um, UMI, their website, and also from um, twinhicks.com. You, you'll probably see them in uh, various stores, or Christian uh, bookstores. So they're, they're, all, they're all over, just look, just look for them.